Welcome to this video. This video explains how we could perform adiabatic analysis in Abacus software. Adiabatic stress analysis is used in case which mechanical deformation of the material cause heating of the material and by heating the material the properties of the material will change due to increase in its temperature. In cases that the event is so rapid that there is no enough time for thermal diffusion we can use adiabatic analysis. Otherwise we should use coupled temperature displacement analysis. High speed metal forming is a common example of adiabatic analysis. In this video we are going to model fast upsetting of a cylindrical billet in ambient temperature. The billet is a cylinder with diameter of 0.8 meters and length of 0.8 meters. We draw one quarter of the billet due to symmetry as an axisymmetric part. We create a part for the billet which is axisymmetric and deformable and also we draw it by shell feature. We draw a rectangle from point 0, 0 to point, point 0, 0.04 and point 0, 0.04. This is the billet and also we draw the upper die and instead of the lower die we use symmetry boundary condition. The die is a flat surface and a rigid part needs reference point. Now we should define properties of the billets. We enter density because we are using dynamic explicit procedure for solving this problem and also enter the elastic and plastic behavior of the material which is dependent to the temperature. As the temperature will increase during the forming, the property will change. The Young modulus will reduce by raising the temperature and also plastic behavior of the material depends on temperature. At high temperature metals also are rate dependent but in this case we assume that the flow stress of the material depends on plastic strain and temperature and does not depend on the strain rate. For an adiabatic analysis we also need some thermal properties. We need a specific heat to calculate the temperature change of each material point and also we need inelastic heat fraction which shows how much of the dissipated plastic energy turned to the thermal energy. We create a section for the material and assign the section to the part. Then in assembly module, we enter both our instance independently and translate the die to its proper position. In a step module, we can use any of the stress analysis like dynamic explicit or the static general. In this case, we use dynamic explicit and the forming process is really fast. We should enter the real time and the basic change between an usual stress analysis and an adiabatic analysis is this option which includes adiabatic heating effect in the fast forming analysis. In an adiabatic analysis we could also request temperature of each elements 
Please notice that nodal temperature is not a degree of freedom of each element but temperature change will be computed at each integration point and we can plot it in the visualization. In the interaction module, we only define the mechanical interaction between the billet and the die. There is no thermal interaction between the billet and the environment or between the billet and die because in this type of analysis, we don't have temperature as nodal freedom in elements. We only define mechanical interaction between the die and billets. For mechanical interaction, it's better to pick the rigid face at first as the master face and then pick the deformable face as the slave face. We use kinematic contact method and finite sliding and the defined interaction property between the die and billet. Now we add the die and go to the load module. In load module, we should apply symmetric boundary condition to the billet and also we should define all rotational and translational degrees of freedom of the die as a rigid part. First, we define symmetry in the bottom of the billet. And in this 2D case, we should define 3 degrees of freedom of the die. We fix U1 and rotation around the third axis and we should also enter the displacement of the die in the second direction. The displacement is equal to one half of the billet lens and we should also define an amplitude for the displacement which the best amplitude is a smooth and from the beginning of the step to the end of the step the load should change from zero to the maximum. Then we go to the mesh module and at first set the element to be quadrilateral and structured for the billet. We create seed on the billet. Please notice that this problem requires very fine mesh and also requires remeshing which will be explained in our next videos. We choose explicit and axisymmetric stress mesh. The linear mesh is better in this case because of contact and also high level of distortion. And we mesh the part. Now we can create the job and submit it. We go to the visualization module and we can see the deformation of the part. As you can see here, the element's distortion is high in this region and this result is not acceptable. We will explain in our next video that how we could solve this problem by LAE or adaptive remeshing. In an adiabatic analysis, we could also plot temperature of each element. As we requested temperature before, we can plot the temperature and we can see that in region with higher plastic deformation, the temperature is higher. In other words, in this region, dissipated energy related to plastic deformation turns to heat and cause increase in the temperature of the material and also the property of the material in higher temperature will be used in simulation.
Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.